So at the end of the day, EV drivers come to EVgo to get their car charged, to get it fueled up. So what we want to make sure of is that there are multiple ways for that to happen. So if there's one thing that may not be working, that there's another way to get that charge. And we call all of those activities in our EVgo Renew program resilience. Maybe you could give us a little bit more color about the different pieces of that resilience effort. Absolutely. Thank you, Daffy. The most important way that you can really have resilience in any network is to have redundancy. So there are different parts of our flow where we have uh, created additional solutions that will help customers to have alternatives in case something isn't working well. For example, there are multiple ways that you can initiate a charge on our stations. Uh, you can do that through the app, you can do that through RFID cards, uh, you can do that through the HMI screens that are on the stations themselves, or you can also enroll in auto charge that allows you to automatically connect to the, the chargers themselves. Another issue that can occur is we can have outages on the cellular networks that allow our stations to communicate to our network. And in that case, we have redundancy built into our cellular connections as well, and we can fail over to another network. And I guess we're also building larger stations, which is actually quite a practical response to if one particular charging stall isn't working for whatever reason, then there are other choices at that same location. Absolutely.